Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Doggeth, and this is a new episode of Random Survival Map. It's a little different than usual. As you can see, shit is flying across the screen. Uh, fading in now, you see the progress of the map as it is currently me deforesting this map. Uh, this is a special episode, as uh, you can see, I, I'm recording audio after the fact. Because I wanted to create this little montage of me just deforesting the island. And just give this an opportunity just to just throw stuff out there. I'm not really planning to say anything specific. I do want to give like a intro to who I am. I know we did that in the other episode, the intro video we've created. But it was with him. And uh, and yeah, so it, that's what that was. And then also just the state of the channel uh, from, from my standpoint. Just to say... Uh, this is what I see going on. This is how I want it to go and kind of my goals and what I see, what I see in the future, I guess I, I, I should say. So starting off, my name, Doggeth. I've always been called Doggeth uh, ever since, ever since I can remember. I used to play Quake, Duke Nukem, all those games. And I always went as M Dog. I guess it was always the cool thing to do in, in middle school to put your first initial from your first name onto dog or at least I thought it was cool, uh, and that turned into M Doggeth. Whenever I was playing, uh, my first MMO was was Ashron's Call, back in 1999. And uh, in all the muds that I would play, I'd always be M Doggeth. It's you know, it's not a very immersed name, but whatever. Um, so then it it just evolved into Doggeth. So I'm 28, and I've got a family and. With families come less time for gaming, so I don't really, really do that much. Uh, I see this whole YouTube thing as kind of a way to to escape when everybody goes to bed, and I'm doing it anyway. And this is fuel for me to be able to to share that with everybody else, and you know, under the guise of being able to to have this experience with YouTube and and all this other stuff, escape into a game and just release the stress of the day and I'm a I'm a computer programmer by trade and and I'm I enjoy it but it can be stressful and and stuff like that so being able to share this stuff with you guys it really helps cut down that stress it sounds silly but it's just something I've I've found that I've enjoyed and while I'm not that good at it <laughs> I I am I feel myself getting better at it which is very cool and seeing that progress um, and opening up and in the beginning when I wouldn't really talk that much I didn't know what I was saying to now where I still don't really know what I'm saying but I say more of of stuff I put it all out there and I try not to restrain it at all man I am I'm chopping like a pro anyway so that's pretty much me in a nutshell just a guy that's looking to escape and share his experience in games and while I'm <laughs> trying to sleep on the screen right now, and while I while I'm doing that, I, I enjoy spending the time with my co-host uh, Villakis, a guy that I've known since we met in a. <laughs> this isn't gonna sound really nerdy. Uh, we met in a Stargate Worlds uh, IRC channel. So Stargate Worlds, what is that? It was a. It was gonna be the an awesome MMO. Uh, some people would disagree. I was in pretty early beta and I had a lot of fun playing uh, the little stuff that they had and and then all the crap happened with management and what happens with money people ruin good opportunities for other people and who knows what else happened I mean I wasn't there it's all speculation so fading in you see the progress uh, as of this point I've worked my way around that little little mountain there I think I synced it in a little early but you guys would get the gist. So we met in the Stargate Worlds IRC, and I think I met, you know, 10 people I still talk to, which is pretty crazy. I don't usually hold that large of a friendship base. Which seems strange, me putting stuff on YouTube. But, um, yeah, so we've always wanted to, to do something like this. I have no idea what I did there. Um, and so we finally just took the jump. Now, in retrospect, I came up with the name, and it was just something I was throwing out there. I'm not really good at naming stuff, so I'm not really a big fan. Jason, or Villicus, he likes it, 
So I, I mean, I like it too. It's not, it's not that bad, and it kind of, it's different. And it says we play computer games. I mean, that's pretty much what it is. So we wanted to create the channel together, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm also going to branch out onto my own channel. I created Dogith WASD to comment on our videos, but also I think I'm going to put some stuff out there. I want to do some old, old school gaming. Record some of that. It doesn't really fit with the Minecraft and the fear stuff we've been putting on their main channel, but something that I can post other videos to, I guess. While I I could go by the mindset of you don't want to put spread out your eggs to too many baskets. I just enjoy doing it so much. I don't want to oversaturate this channel. So I'm gonna push all my overflow to that channel just so I don't overwhelm people with how much I'm doing this. Because like I said, I've really enjoyed being able to to create the videos and, and while I'm not good at it I am learning a lot and that's the coolest part to me like like a month ago I, I never knew what video video editing was and uh, Sony Vegas never even heard of it so it's been a lot of fun uh, learning the program and hopefully getting better at it maybe and then also the meeting of people like Sir Crafty and and girl, girl and girl and bro and critics a lot of cool people in the community and i think that's another reason why i've been so adamant on following through with the creation of the videos so enough of that rambling where are we going with this channel uh i think that it's good that we're sticking with the minecraft stuff while it's fairly not so niche anymore i mean it's kind of over oversaturated on youtube it's what we do in our spare time and I think that that drives our ability to create more videos and more content for you guys and while we're doing that also spidering out to see you know pulling in my fear stuff and his Pokemon stuff and the other stuff that is going to come out and it's going to be awesome hopefully and we want to do mods bite lights survival map reviews all kinds of fun stuff and then here's the last well one of the last fading ins that shows we've got that little area left on our island. So also what we want to do is we kind of want to create like a community. I mean, there's so many out there, but why not create one for ourselves, you know? So over this week, we're actually working on creating a list of mods that we want to have on a server. I own a VPS, or I rent one, and it's not really being used. So why not throw something out there where we can play with you guys? I mean, maybe that will help drive subscribers. I mean, we're at 33 right now. Well, that's not the most. I mean, I never thought we'd get five. I mean, we did get five in the beginning, but it was mostly like, I think I subscribed. My mom, maybe my mom or my dad subscribed. <laughs> Sounds sad. I'm 28. They're supportive, though, so right on. Um, yeah, so get together a server, and if people want to play, I'm going to whitelist it. So that we can control some of the some of the inevitable douches in the beginning, but in the end, open it up where we have you know people coming in and just hanging out, and we want to live stream more. We want to involve you guys more, and we want any suggestions you guys can provide. I've really enjoyed this map. It's just massive, and a lot of the stuff is like this where it's tedious. And I think my last objective I have left is literally to create a jungle on this land. And I was given like four saplings, so I have to build one, cut it down, get the saplings, build it, put it down, get the saplings. So it's taking some time. I might do a montage kind of like this and just, you know, do what I'm right doing right now, overlap it with some audio I record off, you know, not while I'm playing. I think like, I think this is like six or seven different play sessions <laughs> like brought together. Because it was such a massive undertaking to just cut down a bunch of trees. Got old pretty quick. Luckily I had a diamond uh, diamond axe. and Yeah, so that's definitely where I see our channel going. Uh, kind of like community driven and just having fun. And with the overflow of my, my overzealous recording of videos going to my personal channel. Which I will link here. Not down under the description, but as one of the featured channels, just so you guys can see it. So I've really appreciated you guys' time. As you can see, I deforested this whole bastard. Um, I'm zooming this up faster than it was actually done. And in a minute, it's going to cut to where I had my last tree. 
and then I cut down that last tree. So like the video, subscribe, and I really appreciate you guys, everything you guys do just from watching. And I hope to see you guys later, maybe on our server. You guys have a good one.